Hi, I'm Andrew Scott. I'm an applications engineer for the Tektronix video product line, and I'm here to talk about Serify, which is our file-based content verification system. Uh, Serify is a software application, runs on a Windows server. It's different from our traditional tools like Waveform Monitor, which is an interactive tool for testing content in real time. Serify is intended for uh, unattended operation in non-real time, so typically faster than real time checking of file based content. Typically Serify is installed on a Windows server that's attached to a same high speed network as the media servers and Serify will play back the content, test it and produce a QC report based upon what it's found. Uh, typically, Serify is integrated into a workflow by looking at watch folders. So you might have a different watch folder on a per provider or per client basis or perhaps on uh, different formats. You'll have different profiles and different watch folders. So let's take a look at some of the features, some of the things that Serify can check for. So Serify is essentially a tool for validating acceptance criteria of file-based video and audio content. That acceptance criteria can consist of structural and format type checks as well as video and audio quality checks. So for example, we're looking at a configuration screen for MPEG-2 video. And one of the checks I can create here is to enforce that the content is exactly main profile and main level uh, MPEG-2 content. Another example of a format related check, if I scroll up a little bit, is to validate that the encoded picture size is exactly 1920 by 1080 and fail any other resolution that uh, you know happened to be tested against this template. So in addition to these format type checks, Serify can also be used to look at quality issues in the content. I'll just scroll down the configuration page a bit more. You can see there's quite a few checks. <laughs> the one I'll highlight in particular here is encoding quality, a blockiness check. What we're doing here is taking a look at compression artifacts in the video signal. If the bit rate is not sufficiently high, then we'll have excess compression artifacts, and the score that is computed will fall beneath the threshold that we have set. So in this case, I have set a threshold of 90 as my quality score. So next I can show you the results of testing that particular template against a clip that I have encoded twice. Once at 5 megabits per second and once at 10 megabits per second. You can see over here on the left hand side that Serify has passed the file that was encoded at 10 meg and failed the one that was at 5 megabits per second can drill down through the user interface, click on that file, and I will get a series of quality alerts. Serify tells me the time code, the location at where each of those quality alerts was raised, as well as I can see a little thumbnail of the video clip. And again, in this case, if I zoom in one more level, I can see the details about that quality alert. So at this particular location, you can see that Serify measured the quality at a score of 82. And that fell below our threshold of 90, which is why Serify raised the alert and failed the file. You'll also notice that Serify produces a timeline showing me the offending frame, four frames before and four frames after to provide some additional context. I can click on this thumbnail to get a larger thumbnail. In this case, that you can see a scene transition, a page turn between in this case, I think it was a swimming competition, an equestrian event, but the bit rate was insufficient, you know, insufficient uh, to handle that scene transition properly. And that's why at a five megabit rate, we have compression artifacts that are not measurable at 10 megabits per second. I'll show some examples of some other video quality checks that Serify can check for. In this case, there are some black frames in the middle of the content and Serify will give me a time code value of where that was found, and the error description tells me that the sequence of black frames was more than three, the threshold that I originally set. This next example shows a scene transition where the content has both letterbox and pillar box applied. We have the windowing effect, which is obviously undesirable. And in this case, Serify identifies the frame and tells me that I have both letterbox and pillar box errors. And my last example for video quality 
is Serify showing that it can detect photosensitive epilepsy test violations. This clip is from a music video which had very rapid color transitions. You can see every three frames it's changing the uh, fundamental color of the frame. And that triggered the uh, flash test for photosensitive epilepsy. When you're interactively browsing the results in this way, Serify has the ability to launch an external player and show me the content uh, where the offending part of video was. So in this case, I click on the icon, up pops VLC player, and it cues to that point based on the time code. In this case, you can see obviously why it failed that photosensitive epilepsy test. Here's an example of an audio quality alert that Serify has highlighted. And you can see from the audio strip, there's obvious clipping in the audio tracks. And Serify identifies the number of clips, again, based upon a threshold that I had set in my template. In this case, no more than 10 clips per second. In this case, it's definitely much more than that. Serify can also test for audio loudness using the standard ATSC and EBU specifications, both of which use the underlying ITU BS1770 loudness algorithm that measures loudness in terms of LKFS or LUFS units. So Serify can perform the loudness measurement on multiple tracks, so a stereo track, a 5.1 soundtrack, and alert if that uh, long-term loudness found over the entire clip is above the threshold that we have specified. Serify's multiple parallel loudness tests, so you can do short-term loudness with either the 10-second window of the ATSC spec or the three-second window of the EBU spec, as well as the long-term loudness over the entire content. So Serify can integrate into many workflows. Uh, as I explained before, Serify can look at watch folders and then move content to a quarantine folder upon failure or an output folder if it passes. Or Serify also has an API that can be used to integrate into automation or asset management systems. In that case, Serify is a test engine that has passed a file uh, from the, the MAM or the automation system, and then the QC report is passed back, also via the API, as XML data that can then be processed by the management system to determine the next action to, uh, to take place with that file. This has been just a brief overview of all the functionality of Serify. For more information, please look at www.tektronics.com. Thank you.